This is part 6 of the review of the Liebherr LTM11200 mobile crane model and it covers the Notaboom boom transporter made by WSI. The boom of the 11200 is too heavy to be carried on the mobile crane carrier so it has to be transported separately. Notaboom produces a special trailer arrangement to carry the boom. The model comes in a standard WSI Collectibles windowed box and there's no information about either the real machine or the model. Inside there's a polystyrene tray and the model's held between clear plastic formers. When you lift the lid you can carefully lift out the model parts being careful not to damage the more delicate pieces. First out the box is the big Mercedes-Benz 8x4 Titan tractor and that's followed by the special 7 axle trailer. There are two bags of parts included. The first is a small bag with some parts for the towing hitches of the tractor. And the second bag includes the parts and pins for connecting the crane boom to the model. The only assembly to do on the base model is to fit a few parts to the tractor. At the front there's a cover for the towing hitch and that's just held in place with a steel pin. It takes a little bit of effort to line it up properly, but when it's in place you can just push the pin in. There's a similar task to do at the back of the tractor, and this time there's a funnel to fit with again a securing pin that just pushes in. Looking underneath the tractor first, it's very detailed, quite a lot of metal used, and the steering and suspension are all accurately modelled. This version of the model is in Liebherr yellow and the detailing of the cab is very good. It has a number plate and excellent graphics including chevrons on the bumper. The wheel hubs and tyres are very good and just like other Notaboom branded models there's a unique fleet number for the tractor. Behind the cab the equipment tower is largely plastic but this does allow some very good detailing. The fifth wheel and the wheel arches look realistic and at the back the lights have lenses. The trailer is highly detailed and the suspension and steering is modelled really well. Also visible are tanks and airlines and these really add to the realistic detailed look of the model. This high level of detail is really evident at the rear of the trailer where there are some excellent graphics. We'll start with the big Titan tractor and it rolls well enough in a straight line. There's very little in the way of suspension on the model um, and there is steering on the front two axles which are linked but the range of movement really is very very small and that's the compromise I guess because it's detailed very accurately but it's therefore not very functional. So you can only get very limited steering movement. The other feature is that the cab does tilt forward and although it doesn't look like it wants to stay tilted you can get it to stay tilted and it looks pretty good. The trailer is an interesting model and it certainly rolls very well in a straight line. And unlike the tractor it does have fully working suspension which is really good. And that applies to each axle which has its own range of movement. The steering on the trailer is also very good. Uh, it applies to the front and rear three axles which are linked together. And it's fully proportional so you can see the outermost wheels steer the most. And if you set them you can then put the trailer down and it traces out a very realistic arc as it moves along. The boom support is also on a turntable and it's a good mechanism because it works little hydraulics as you turn it from side to side. The model is designed to carry the boom from NZG's crane model and to do that we need to fit a little adapter onto the fifth wheel and that just clips into place. And the next thing to do is to attach the boom to the trailer and the best way to do that really is to turn the boom upside down and it's a heavy piece so you have to be careful how you handle it. And then you can place the trailer on, again obviously upside down, and put it more or less in the correct position, ready for when you pin it together. And it's best to do this upside down because it just makes getting in the pin that much easier. Of course this involves joining a WSI model to an NZG model so it's very good that they do fit together but they're connections are a little bit tight so perhaps use a screwdriver just to line them up and then you can just slot the pins in. It's a little bit of a tight fit so you might just need to use something to push the pins in and I'll use the end of a screwdriver just to be 
able to put a little bit of pressure on and make the connection. Once the trailer's fitted to the boom, you then need to turn it all the right way up, and you need to do that carefully because, again, there are some delicate parts around on these models, so just need to be careful how you handle it. And once it's all set, you can then proceed to make the connection to the adapter on the tractor unit. The connection point on the boom just drops down onto the adapter that's fitted to the tractor. And although it does fit, it's an even tighter connection to get the pins in on this end of the model because, again, the tolerance is perhaps not quite lining up. So you may have to fiddle with it a bit to try and get the pins in. Just line up the holes first and then um, you may need quite some effort to get the pins in and get them in fully. There are a couple of places to fit pins here and if it's tough going you might be able to make do with just fitting one of the pins. Once you've made the connections you can then take your model for a test drive and it does roll very well with the heavy boom fixed onto the trailer. There is another possibility which you have which is to use the tractor to tow the trailer although that's not really supported by the model design. You, you can remove the tow bar as I'm doing here but it's usually glued into place and there are not proper connections at either the tractor or trailer end but you can pose it as if the tractor and trailer are connected. This tow bar connection isn't intended to enable the trailer to be towed along in road going formation. It's really for use in manoeuvring the trailer at low speed under the boom. If you like you can display the model this way to simulate the boom being loaded and unloaded which makes quite an interesting display pose. The Nautaboom Boom Transporter by WSI is a very detailed model. The functionality is good and it complements the Liebherr crane model very well. If you do have the crane model, then the Boom Transporter is highly recommended. Music